delivery guy says to me, I've got a pallet for you. And I'm like, what do you mean you've got a pallet? So go down to see the speakers laid flat on the pallet and then it twigs. These are big boxes and 36 kilograms each. You can't expect this guy to be lifting them around himself. Now I thought I'd review these speakers because I just think ATC produce great products. And it wasn't that I wanted to get the newest speaker produced, you know, like clickbait. ATC have that pro heritage about them. They have a level of mystique and hearing their products at shows, they all just sound terrific. And also they're very well revered in the hi-fi press. So the ATC SCM40A, A is standing for active, is a medium to large pro audio speaker, which is part of ATC's entry level series. This speaker is a three-way type, which means instead of the usual tweeter and mid-range bass driver of a two-way speaker, you've got the tweeter, you've got a mid-range driver, and you've got a bass driver. Now, obviously a speaker like this, you've got to be thinking medium to large size rooms. It's a powered speaker too. So it's got 150 watt module for the bass driver. It's got a 60 watt module for the mid range unit and a 25 watt amp for the tweeter. And ATC use class AB amplifiers. Quick rundown of the different amplifier classes. Class A is a type of amplifier where the current is always on no matter the musical signal. With Class AB, current is reduced as the signal is smaller, the musical signal, but as the music demands it, current is increased so the output to the speakers is increased. A crossover is obviously a device that splits the musical signal between the high frequency unit and the mid bass unit. If you only had one driver and a speaker, which you do find on some designs, although it's rare, you don't need a crossover because all the musical data, if you like, is going to that one single driver. Obviously it's called a crossover because the frequencies cross over at a certain point between high frequency and bass or mid frequencies. This speaker has what's called an active crossover. In a normal set of speakers, you feed it an amplified signal and in the speaker, it takes care of separating the frequencies out. This is called a passive crossover. In an active crossover, you send the pre-amplified signal to the speakers and then the crossover in the speakers sends on relevant bands of frequencies to amplifiers in that speaker for then sending the music to the drivers. That's a crossover in the analog domain. And what it allows is, is that you can use separate power amps for each driver. The obvious benefits of this are that you can tailor the amplifier and its power supply to each of the drivers. There's also a number of other technical reasons like lower distortion, but that's for another day. You can go on my website and read some articles about classes of amplifiers and active and passive crossovers. I've posted the links in the description below. One of the things with ATC is that all the drivers are made in house. They make everything from the ground up. So you ain't gonna find someone bolting drivers into cabinets like some speaker firms do. That's just not how they work. That's not their modus operandi. And it's probably not really surprising because this is a pro audio firm with a pro heritage. These ATCs are a sealed box design, so there's no rear port. So you've not got to worry about placing them too close to walls where bass can bounce off and cause bloat, bass bloat. ATC say, keep them about a meter from the walls. I actually use them less than that. 
and they were okay and fine, but you want to experiment with placement. The rear of the speakers have quite a simple arrangement. You've got an on off button, you've got an IEC power inlet and an XLR input. In my appraisal of sound quality for this video, I'm gonna be honest enough and say I've nothing to compare these speakers against because I haven't had anything of this class in my system. I'm only really going off my experience of trying hi-fi myself at home and listening to hi-fi at shows. Another thing to say is I'm always fearful of over revving up products for fear of being not taken seriously by consumers. You can't have a review that's brilliant all the time. This is a speaker though that just doesn't have any disadvantages. And if you had to push me on that, then I'd probably say you need to consider careful room interaction because they are big drivers. So you need to be thinking about room acoustic treatments and positioning, but that's not a disadvantage of the speakers themselves. That's just more about setup. The first thing you notice when you plug these speakers in is that they have power and scale in abundance, which probably isn't very surprising, but we are talking here, shake the plaster out of walls loud or have the environmental health team round from your local authority because you've been annoying the neighbors loud. After hearing scale and authority, the next thing that's most obvious is the way that these speakers just integrate. And I mean integrate bass and treble together perfectly. I'm talking as balanced as a tightrope walker or a perfectly put together dish by a Michelin starred chef that's got the perfect balance of ingredients. Bass and treble is tremendous. Tonally, they are awesome and they're just extremely refined. Speakers like these make a case that you don't need tone controls on amplifiers. AKA you might be able to use tone controls on your preamp to these speakers but you're buying the tailoring of the amplifiers in the speakers to their drivers. So going beyond what ATC are designing in terms of the balance here would be a bit like going into that Michelin starred chef's restaurant, ordering a scallop and then asking him to put tomato ketchup or chili sauce on it. Get out. Okay, I might have used slightly overly florid language there, but my point is still valid about one of the reasons for buying active powered speakers. I've also got to say that this tonality and balance doesn't have any cost consequence to detail resolution. These speakers clearly have a very even frequency response. This doesn't mean that the detail doesn't come out when needed to faithfully reproduce the music as it should naturally sound. In fact, it's absolutely bang on the money and it would be hard to envisage that anyone could have any grumbles about the level of detail that's on offer here and the way it's presented. Obviously, you're also gonna get extremely good soundstage of a speaker like this with drivers at this size, unsurprisingly.
have a good understanding of technicalities, but I always try to look at hi-fi in a way that assumes no knowledge. And the reason I do this is because I think that hi-fi is a means to an end for the music. Whilst I make this point not deriding the quality of these speakers because they're truly fantastic, explaining technicalities for me is something to get through because hi-fi is about enjoying music and technicalities are a means to an end for that. Hi-fi is a means to an end for that. These are obviously quite an expensive pair of speakers, but for £7,000, when you consider you can buy a passive pair of a similar price and then add amplifiers, I think you'll find it worth it because they are of a quality that improves upon a passive setup. So if I was going back again and starting again buying hi-fi, I'd probably jump straight to a pair of speakers like these because you save yourself all that time and effort of going through amplifier upgrades and speaker upgrades. Just get a decent pair of actives, job done. Please tell me what you think, hit subscribe and look on the website for loads more information and reviews. Also, if you ever want to suggest products for me to review, put your comments in the comments field and I'll do my best to see whether I can get hold of them. I can't continue making this channel without your support. So once again, very many thanks for watching. I'll see what that's come out like.